Now let's take a look at bicolor LEDs. And just as the name implies, they are LEDs that have two colors. And you can get them in all different colors, red, green, yellow, green, whatever it might be. Now, interesting to note, there's still only two leads on these. So unlike a standard LED, which I have here wired up with the typical blink sketch, if I were to replace this standard LED with a bicolor and I put the long, the positive, in the positive, and the negative in the negative right here, positive row one, negative row two, you can see it's still blinking. They typically are a little bit less bright than a standard LED. But what's interesting about them is I can actually wire them up backwards. So I'll just give it a spin and put it in there and now it's blinking yellow. So really interesting with this, the long lead is not the positive and the short is not the negative. They can actually work either way. So depending on which way you plug it in, you get red, spin it around, you get yellow. And what's interesting about that is with Arduino code, we can also control what color we want to display by pulling a specific pin high or low. Although we can't wire it the way I have it wired here. Now, one other thing before we look at the code, I wanna show you one other type of LED, and these are even a little more strange. This is also a bicolor LED, but it actually has three legs. And you'll see there is a long, a medium, and a short. Now, typically the long lead on most components is the positive. Well, guess what, on this one, it's not. If we look inside the LED, this is a water clear top. You can see that cup and typically the cup is the negative. So if I look at this without even looking at the data sheet, I'm pretty sure that this middle one is negative and the side two are the positives for each color. Now, if I were to disconnect this one and put it in, you can imagine I'm omitting this wire right now. So the long one's the negative, short one's positive, And I put it in those top two rails, I'm getting red. If I were to reverse that and not use this one, and now put this lead into the positive, the long one in the negative, you can see I'll get a different color. So this is a red green and it has three leads. And you might like that. It might make more sense to you to have one common ground and I can just make this one connected to pin 13 and I can make this one connected to pin 11. Turn them on, turn them both on at the same time. It really doesn't matter. I don't know if I can get this on camera, but if you look inside, you can actually see this one really has two LED kind of circuits in there or, or the structure for two circuits. There's one cup and then the two separate wires going up. But we're gonna look at this one and it's the one with the long and the short. I don't like to call them positive or negative because they're not in this situation. So now that we know a little bit about bicolor LEDs, let's look at how we hook it up. And we'll start by removing all these wires here and hooking up our bicolor LED. Now I'm going to put the long lead in row one and the short one into row two. And I'm going to have row two as this black wire and row, row one through the resistor, this red wire. And you might think that you can just turn a pin high and low and flip the pins back and forth, making this turn different colors. And you actually can't do that. We need to declare pins as whether they're an input or an output. And it's a little more complicated to, than that, but once again, Arduino saves the day with libraries. So let's go ahead and look at the library, how to install it, what it does, and then we'll wire it up. So I'm gonna go open up my Arduino IDE. And I'm also gonna open up a web page to show you where to get that library. And I just search for Arduino by color LED. Here it is. You can also search on the Arduino website, but Honestly, you go to Google and it figures it all out for you. So I can look at this There's a little bit of documentation, but there's this download to the GitHub page and this GitHub page has the zip file that we'll need to install it. And what you basically do is click on clone or download. It will save it as a zip file. You can see I've already done that. I have the file right here on my desktop. And you go into Arduino, sketch, include library, add a zip file. I go to my desktop and by color LED, choose that. And now in my example folder, I should have, there it is, by color LED. And we can take a look at that and upload it. And what you can see is this is a simple demo that connects pins four and five. 
with an appropriate resistor. So I can just pick either one, it really kind of doesn't matter, and plug these into four and five. There's four, there's five. Upload the code. It's uploading, done uploading, and there we go. And you can see this LED now is going green, red, and actually a green-red mix right in there. So it's turning red on, turning green on, and also turning red and green on. And if we take a look at the code, it's pretty simple. It keeps track of some time. And depending on how much time has gone by, it's making it color one, two, or three. Really interesting. So basically the code is saying a bicolor LED, which has two colors, really has three. And in all actuality, it does. If you had a red and blue LED by color, you could make red and blue show at the same time and get purple. So pretty clever code. It's a nice library and very, very simple to implement. By color LEDs are great for saving on parts counts. It's great for giving feedback. If you were having a charging circuit, it can be green. And if something goes wrong, it can be red. We've all seen that on electronics. And typically it's done with a bicolor LED.